November 29th, 2023, and this video is called What IQ Do Flat Earthers Have? Now, the reason I say that is that they can't be very bright if they honestly think that the earth is flat. And you come across a lot of these flat earthers, which I just don't get. But what got me thinking about this more is this guy's tweet, James Hawk. His tweet, or X, is, is my simplest distillation of the argument is that the globe earth is a concept only. Nobody has ever seen or experienced a spherical spinning world. They just believe in it. Try to break that, I dare you. And so this guy, uh, he, this guy just loses it. So it's like, we've seen it, measured it, photographed it, there you go, broken, prove it, stupid. Um, here's his proof of Bigfoot. I mean, I sent him a tweet saying if he believes in the North or South Pole. Um, this one I thought was pretty good. It says, consider this, standing in the northern hemisphere looking north, what direction do you see the stars appear to turn? Standing in a southern hemisphere looking south, same question. Now this actually goes, This I just thought of this right now. If you flush a toilet in the northern hemisphere, I think it goes clockwise. If you're in the southern hemisphere, flush a toilet, it goes counterclockwise. So I think that might have something to do with it too, because if it was flat earth, I don't think it would act that way. Uh, real simple, you can go on Google Earth, spin it around, and see that there, yes, there is a North Pole, and there is a South Pole. So you need a north and a south on a sphere. If it's flat, there is no north or south. So that kind of gives it away there. Here's some pictures. This is actually what they think the earth is like, that it's this flat uh, mass, and eventually you will just fall off of it. <laughs> this is it makes me laugh, kind of. Now here's the other thing I always say is, check out Jupiter the great red spot here it comes it's coming there it is how do you explain that everything in the universe in all creation is based on a circle it's not based on a square and I'll show you that later. This is really cool. Carl Sagan actually explains um, on the concept. Aristotle was the first one that brought this up. And it's based on shadows. And so Aristotle was thinking about this stuff 300, uh, 300 uh, AD, I think it was. So you're looking at 1,700 years ago. He thought of the concept, and we're still thinking that it's flat in 2023. Aristotle, well, this is B.C. 384 B.C. was among the first to recognize the fact that the planet is a sphere. He observed lunar eclipses and noticed that only a, a round sphere could imply a circular shadow. Interesting. Now then he goes on again, he's like, see, when these brain dead Fs say, we've seen it, measured it, and photographed it, it translates to, I believe in it because men told me and showed me pictures on TV. People are stupid. And what about this? That's what I said, the square, the circle or sphere is the, is a universal uh, shape. Because almost everything is a sphere. Now, look, at you could have square apples. You could have square watermelons. But they're man-made. They're man-made. You have to put them in these little plastic cases so they'll form. They actually have, look at, square grapefruits. Um, so 
the concept of a flat earther. What is the IQ of a flat earther? Or are they just doing this for impressions so they could get more followers on uh, their page or something? Because a flat earth, that's just uh, it's a flat concept. It's just flat. Flat earth is like a flat line. 